A police situation on Interstate 10 closed down the highway in both directions between the 17 and the 51 freeway this morning. The highway has since reopened and all of this happened after a person climbed onto that fence, one of those fences that goes on a pedestrian bridge over the highway near 16th Street, threatening to jump. Team 12's Joe Dana is standing by now with more on what happened next. Joe? What happened was a massive collective halt for thousands of drivers on their way to work, not stop and go, just a stop. The I-10, a parking lot. Many drivers did not move for nearly three hours. We're talking about a four-mile stretch of freeway you see here between the 51 and the 17. One man causing it all. Yeah, it pretty much destroyed a lot of people's commutes. A highway emergency involving DPS, oh, police, ADOT, and firefighters. All of us worked together seamlessly to, to bring this to a peaceful conclusion. Highway patrol shut down the I-10 both directions in the middle of the morning commute. My first impression is how sad that this guy is up there. Sue Kent was one of those stuck on the freeway. This was her view. That's the man who was walking back and forth on top of a pedestrian bridge. Crisis negotiators talked to him. What he said and what kinds of threats he may have made is not known. In my mind, there's got to be a better way than closing the major thoroughfare in both directions for hours. During the standstill, Sue bought a burrito from a food truck that was also in traffic. Online, one man tweeted this photo of another food truck open for business, writing, have to respect the hustle. People are actually turning around. At the three hour mark, most traffic was detoured to side streets. An hour later, the man at the center of it all finally agreed to turn himself in. I can't tell you this individual is going to be uh, looking at charges today based on the incident that occurred today. But of course, we're making sure that he's provided with that medical aid and he's going to be petitioned and uh, to be seen by uh, a psychologist. DPS and Phoenix P want to give a big thank you to those drivers for being patient. Uh, you know, this was the best possible outcome with that man brought down safely. On the traffic front, though, we did ask DPS if they'll review this ordeal to determine if they could have detoured drivers sooner off the freeway. One driver pointed out that if this was a week ago, uh, it would have been a much hotter situation out there, potentially dangerous for all those commuters. Uh, DPS has not responded to our questions yet. Guys, back to you.